Hey everybody, it's Queen Jelly here and welcome to or welcome back to the Toy Box. Today is going to be part two of the Monster High Year One celebration where we're ranking all of our favorite Monster High G3 dolls. So today's video is going to be 16 through 1, so these are going to be my top favorite dolls. Um, let's go ahead and get started on that. Dracula was just here for some fun. Um, so my number 16 pick is Spa Laguna, or as I like to call her, Totally Hair Laguna. Um, I think that she is super cute. Um, her outfit isn't like the most detailed or anything like that or the most extravagant, um, but I'm just obsessed with this hair. I think that the hair play gimmicks that it came with were actually like fun and usable. Um, so I just think that she's really great. Like I said, I still want to kind of adjust how the headband is on her because that's the only thing that really is kind of not super top tier for me to be honest and that's kind of something like really silly like just like the headband placement that can be adjusted um it's just i do like to leave the ties in so then they're harder to lose but it looks like it's already pulled itself out anyway so um it just should be a little bit lower on the head but anyway i'll fuss with that when we're not doing this but yeah i totally love all this hair like i said it's really really super soft so it's either really well treated poly or we actually got a doll with saran um she was a bit more expensive so it is possible that she's saran but either way she has really nice soft hair that's super long and i just love sitting here and brushing her hair so that's why she gets spot number 16. spot 15 goes to monster ball cleo surprisingly um i was surprised that i had a cleo this high but also not because cleo is just so this is 15 i think i said 16 again but this is 15 um she's just so pretty um i just love all the layers on here the only thing i wish that this was more of a center cut i don't like that it's kind of off to the side um i've tried to like swooch it over but it's definitely intended to be a side cut it just kind of springs right back into that so um the downside to her is that her headpiece kind of covers up the, like, piece that she comes with in her hair, this little, like, bead. Um, but otherwise, like, she's stunning. Um, her hair is super long. It's also fairly soft. Um, but it's most likely just the nice treated hair. Um, but it's still really pretty and really long. Like, it goes almost all the way to her ankles. Um, and I just love all the accessories and that she can use all of her accessories and, all the the details and the shoes with the basset or with the um the little cobras on the heels so pretty i was just watching some unboxings and i got like which doll was which mixed up so um but either way she's still like super super pretty and yeah i love her and then for 14 is going to be this Claudine. This is my favorite of all the Claudines. This is the Claudine that like changed the way that I think about Claudine. I don't know. Her face is just so pretty. I don't know if she's maybe like a China variant. I always had Indonesian variants or vice versa. Um, but I don't know. She just has the prettiest face. And just when I got her, then after that, I was, I just adore Claudine now. So she really just changed my perspective on her and I just think overall she's a really cute, really simple, but like very effective design. Uh, I love the glow in the dark moon pillow. Super cute. We have our little, um, our little pet whose name is escaping me right now for some reason. Crescent. There we go. Um, these super cute, like slippers with the little faces on them, like just all over adorable. Um, her hair is actually not too bad. It's it's still very dry, but it's not as puffy as some of the other Claudines where their hair is kind of like all the way out here. Um, so, you know, overall really cute. Creep all day is what it says on her shirt. Um, I did put her, I did give her a little uh, hair clip from the Fashion Studio playset. There's 14 goes to Claudine. Spot 15. <laughs> when you see the the other ones in this, you're going to laugh because it's really funny. Because what ended up happening is I have my, my two favorite ghouls. And I'm clearly very biased on them because they're like all the top ghouls are basically my two favorites. And then I ended up with my top favorite of the other like three of the core five. It was like, and then after this, it's pretty much going to be either one-offs or those two ghouls. So you'll see. Anyway, so... This is 13, right? Because 16, 15, 14. Yep. 
13 is Gulia Yelps. Uh, Gulia, honestly, um, out the gate was one of the ones that I really favored. Like, I just really think this is a really nice, strong design. I love their glasses. I think the brain on the skull cap is brilliant. Um, the little torn up shirt, like, I mean, granted, I think I agree with people. I know a lot of people wish that she was in red instead of in pink. And like, I think that would have been great, but I also, I love pink. I love the pink design. I think it's really cute. I understand why they wanted the red because it's more like the original. Um, but I think that this Gulia stands out. I just literally love the brains everywhere. There's her, uh, her switch cases in her backpack and everything. Um, yeah, I, I love her design. Uh, she also came with a skateboard, which is really cool. Um, and I love that her pet can sit on her arm because um, a lot of them have a hard time. Like they can't really hold their pets or whatever, but his, hers, uh, Sir Hoots a lot is literally designed specifically to sit on her arm. I think that's great. Um, yeah, Ghoulia is just a really strong design and I'm super excited to get more Ghoulias in the future. Um, I was very upset that so far we only had one, but I know that Neon Frights one is coming up, which is really exciting. All right. And then... It's gotta be that way, right? Yeah. All right. Next up is going to be Core Frankie. Um, so you figured out one of my favorite ghouls now. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with everything and anything Frankie. Um, so I really... I mean, what's not to love about this design, to be honest, um, I love the trans colors being in there because they're the non-binary character. Um, like, I don't know. I love their everything uh, head to toe on this doll. But obviously there are Frankies that stand out a little bit stronger now, especially now the more that we get. But this is a very strong, very clean um main design and very much tells you exactly what to expect um it's one of the few dolls that i have wearing their like extra clothing pieces as well um from the core doll collection like a lot of them like i have as many accessories on them as i can but they're not all wearing their extra clothing pieces because they don't always like make sense with them or like have them where they're visible but like this jacket is just so cute and again i love the trans colors um, I wish that I could get this jacket in my size. I know that there's one at Spirit that's kind of similar to this, but it only comes, at least as of right now, when I was recording this, it's only been available in junior size. So, oh, and I should probably point that out just in case you're only seeing this half, not the other half. This video was recorded in the very beginning of September. So if there's any videos or any dolls that came out in September, they won't be included in this list um, just because uh, that's when I had the time to record it. But it will be airing October 1st, which is the one-year anniversary of the official street date for Monster High G3. All right. Next up is going to be our Creepover Draculaura. So this is number 11 on our list. Uh, Creepover Draculaura is just so stinking cute. Like, I love these little crop top moment and this little mesh here. It is really hard to get on and off, but for just, like, as far as her just being, like, on display, like... So cute. She was one of the first dolls that I got duplicate of. Um, although that kind of was just by chance because I found a duplicate of her at Walmart on clearance because her packaging was destroyed. So like, um, but yeah, I absolutely love her. I think she's so, so stinking cute. I love her robe, her little pillow, uh, her split die with the knots. Now I did on my spare take the knots down because uh, she does come with a headband. That was one thing I didn't like was that she came with a headband, but it didn't fit on her head because of the little knots. But I do like the little knots because they put back her bangs in like, you know, the design. And then we got these little like painted on bangs instead. So they're really cute. Um, and of course, I love these like wings on the back. Um, but yeah, just in case I didn't finish my sentence, I took the knots down on my spare one so that she could wear the, the headband, um, because the main one can't wear the headband because of the, the knots. So, um, and then I love the way that they redesigned the little, um, well, this one's count fabulous, but the, the pets for the, the, um, creepover line how they're all like the same pets but they're repositioned so they're still not like duplicate pieces like they're still brand new pieces and I love that um I also love the little bat slippers like how cute are those <laughs> adorable so fantastic overall amazing doll Whoop. let's 
and then now should we're going to be starting the top 10 our next up is going to be our budget frankie um i was actually surprised that i ranked the budget one over the core one but it really comes down to this piece it's just so bold to have literally this like collar piece that attaches to their belt like what is that i love it i absolutely love it um otherwise like this frankie's pretty like the base doll is pretty much the same as the base of the core doll um but they have and obviously it's like inspired by the core doll so it has a lot of the same patterns but it maintains the this shirt which is really nice especially because on mine like with it wearing the jacket you can't see this shirt but then you can see it on my budget which is really nice um this purse is actually also a repeat piece from their coffin bean one but then they have a unique ring which is really cool so yeah but honestly a lot of it had to do with this belt and just the stylizing of the overall outfit um and their shoes are pretty much the same but slightly different because these are kind of like a heeled variant of their core shoes which is really cool um this is a like a bit more of a feminine style look to the um kind of boxy original look for frankie um which is like kind of cool because obviously again frankie's non-binary but they obviously are very like femme leaning um so it's kind of cool to have like a more feminized version of their core outfit um, and then next up is going to be at number nine is going to surprisingly be a, one of the sports dolls. Um, and the reason that this one is so high is the whole reason, honestly, like that I got that I was so obsessed with making sure I got that sports pack on top of being like wanting to have all the dolls um, is because of this, like not even their outfit. I mean, I do like their shoes. I know a lot of people don't, but I really like these shoes. I think they're really cute. Um, I like the like oversized styling. I think it's really Frankie and very like aesthetically cute. Um, this hand, um, we've, we, they have already repeated this piece and it may be a repeat from Gen 1. Um, but the whole thing is I love this shaved side. I literally have considered like buying more of this set just for this doll or like buying this doll individually on Mercari and like redressing them because I just I love this like half shaved look on them especially because like that like in the movie I feel like they had more of like a shaved look to them that they don't have in the dolls um and this is also kind of similar to I believe when we saw their leaked images originally of the like concept dolls they had more of a shaved head like this like I just I really stand this and I wish I had more of this doll for that or more Frankie dolls that had half their head shaved but really like that's why that Frankie goes as high as they do um and then just double checking yep it is this way and then next up, this would be, so this, we should, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> At 8 is Draculaura Core. Um, we love the split die. Um, I have three of this of this Draculaura, um, kind of by accident. Uh, but yeah, I have three of her. Um, different ones have different bangs. Well, only... It was accident that I have two because one of them is my core, like one that I keep in box. Um, and each of them, their, their bangs are slightly differently cut. Um, but I love the like V shape that they have to them. I love the split dye. This like bright pink hair is super pretty. Um, and like this was the doll that like gave us the first time that we had like this little short curvy body that was so cute. Like I was so obsessed with this like body sculpt I mean I still am but like she made me like a completely obsessed with like g3 like I just love everything about her her little ears and everything are so cute um but I just think that some of the the Draculors that we've gotten since are a little bit stronger design um which is why she's is where she is um but yeah I absolutely love her um I just am not a super like booty shorts person so like that kind of put her uh helped me put her a little bit lower because like obviously something has to go you know in those places so once you get to the point where they're like all like which all monster high dolls are amazing and like all of this was really hard because they're all amazing but like the higher you go the harder it is to like 
you have to like find really big nitpicks or like really small nitpicks in order to decide which ones go next. Um, and so then this should be number seven is going to be Monster Ball Draculaura. Um, I really like this overall design, this overall silhouette, um, this big bow in the back. Um, this is actually a cape from the original Draculaura that I put on her because it's the same like color. Um, and I just, I honestly forgot that I'd put that on her until I started looking at her. I was like, that's not part of her normal design. Um, but yeah, I just, the hair is like super dry. Um, so it's, and it's kind of like, almost like they tried to curl it. So I haven't really been able to brush through it. Um, but other than that, like from the front, she's gorgeous. I love, again, the big bow, the pink tights, these super high platforms, um, a, those like 80 style silhouette, the little, um, brooch, her big bow. Now her earrings kind of, to me, look like strawberries, but that's okay. Cause her accessory was a strawberry. So I don't know. She's just really cute. I love the color combos. Um, I think they did like a really good job of making it. I like this big puff bun on the top because of this bow covering it. Like probably if that bow wasn't there, I probably wouldn't like it. But with the bow there, it looks nice and clean and intended. So it looks really cute. And then the big like 80s bangs, like just overall a super cute, very pretty design. Let me put them back there so that's 12 and 11. So then we have the top 10 here. So 10, 9, 8, 7. And then number 6, which I'm surprised is at number 6 because for a while this was number 1, um, is the uh, Gorgonizer Draculaura, um, which was... One of the more expensive ones, um, because of the coming with the Gorgonizer, um, and, but then the, the doll itself was kind of basic, but honestly, it's just so cute. Like, the color combo in her hair is gorgeous. I love this bat headband. Um, this print is really cute. I would have liked to seen it a little bit longer just for my personal style taste, um, but I love this, like, black mesh under top. Like, I love these big black boots, um, everything about her is really cute. And she also has the most variant that we've seen in the face printing because she has these like, um, white hearts across her nose and then the little like bats on her cheeks. So she's had honestly the most like different look to her face as well. And she has this really cute necklace. Um, this drink is actually from the, uh, coffin bean playset. So, but yeah, she's super stunning. I, I absolutely love her. And like I said, for a while she was definitely my number one doll. Um, but some really good ones have come out since. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. All right. So we are in the top five dolls now. And again, another one that for a while was number one on the list is going to be Coffin Bean Frankie. Um, this outfit just gives and gives and gives. Um, this belt is a repeat from the original doll, but it did come with this one. Um, I love the two different length boots so you can see the prosthetic. Um, I love that they gave us a different color variant for the, uh, the pet. Um, we got another phone. So Frankie's had multiple phones. Uh, I love this little tie. I think it's so cute. Um, yeah, just the pattern on the top and then the, you know, the little top underneath. It's so, so cute. And of course, of course, the side glance. That was the, our like, just stunning moment when, you know, it we got already in one of the first dolls that came out, like a different, totally different face screening where they were looking in a different direction and just absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. I love it. I love this lip color too. It just really brings in the boots. It's all just so beautiful. What a, just an absolutely stunning, stunning doll. I'm going to slide you over there. All right. And then for number four, uh, again, kind of surprise. <laughs> like, it's like so hard because I love all of these ones so much. So it feels like they're really low, but like also like four is not low at all. Um, but it is Skelectimate Secrets Fearidescent Draculaura. 
Um, I just cannot get over how much I love this beautiful, like, baby pink, like, cotton candy, bubble gummy. Like, I don't even know exactly what, but this, like, pastel pink for their hair. I just, I... I love it so much. And then these earmuffs are so cute. And I love the little Peter Pan collar moment. And like these mesh sleeves. And like this little skirt and top. And just like everything. And these shoes. They're the same ones that are on the budget. But like they are so elevated with these like jelly design up here. And then like the black. And you have the little heart cutouts. These are just so, so cute. And again, I love the like earmuffs. And how they even like are sh are like curved so you can like fit them on over her ears just 10 out of 10 amazing doll um i love this little purse and they have i love the little ice creams that they come with um i usually display mine with the ice creams but unfortunately from all the moving around like i dropped the ice cream somewhere but i'll be able to find it but just right now she's not holding it but still just absolutely stunning uh 10 out of 10 love her all right and now for number three, uh, this one kind of has a little bit of a bias to it. Um, it's going to be Twyla. Um, there's just a lot that I love about Twyla. Um, they're just so pretty overall. I love their like motifs with the spider webs and then, you know, all the like the purples and the blues. Like, I just think that they're just like a great color combo. I love that their eyes go in the dark. I think that's amazing uh their little bunny backpack so cute uh their uh bed bug earrings like they just <laughs> like who who thinks of that like that's so cool um I just I love Twyla um I also like I said am a little bit biased and that's because she is the autism representation and so she gets a much higher grade in my book for that if nothing else but also I just love the like shades in her hair and I don't know she's just absolutely stunning to me she's been one of my favorites since she came out and will probably stay up near my top uh for the rest of forever um I'd be surprised if she doesn't but you know we never know what's gonna come next year um she also was one of the first ones to give us like really stylized shoes um because we the first wave didn't give super stylized shoes and then we got sleep like pajama shoes with the other ones like pj's i mean slippers that's the word i'm looking for which is still really cute but they're not like super stylized but these were like really cool with these windows in there and then like she's on the bottom of her shoe like it's just really cool really stunning no notes all right <laughs> and then for the number two doll is going to be fearadescent frankie uh, so this is Collectimate Secrets 2 Fearadescence, and I am just an absolute sucker for anything with a winter theme, um, which you can kind of tell by my top couple of dolls. Um, so this crystal leg here literally gives everything. Um, I just, I think that was such a cool thing to do. We'd been asking kind of from the beginning for like different variants to Frankie's leg. Um, mostly we're just talking about different variants to the screening just so that, you know, it's like matches the different outfits, but like this crystal leg is just stunning. Um, the headband, I have to like fight with it to get it to stay on. I have it rubber banded on right now. Um, but that's like the only thing that I'm not like super fond of. Um, but I love these like zip zap earrings. I think they're so cute and they give that like, um, aesthetic that like Frankie usually has into like, but this more like elegant design. Um, and of course I love like Frankie just in general. I love that they're one of, that they're the taller doll and I just think that they're adorable. The glitter lips came out so nice. Um, there's even glitter on their like staple that's in their eyebrow um and then we have uh these amazing boots with this gradient on it and then these bolts for the heels and just just absolutely stunning all these details um of course obviously like with the fear descents there's like multiple outfits and stuff but like this is the one that i chose and i just i i just love this doll so much like i want 15 of this doll <laughs> and then Dun, 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 dun. If you probably if you watch the other one and you've watched this one, you know who it is already. But either way, the number one best Monster High G3 doll, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinion, apparently, is Abby Abominable. Just other than like, okay. 
So I have common, same common everybody has. The hair's not great quality, right? That's the only thing, like, whatever. However, to me, although I still agree, I still think we should have better quality hair, the only reason I'm not super mad about it is because when I think about, like, wintry things, and I especially like yetis and, like, mountains and stuff, I think of, like, fur and, like, yak hair and, like, coarse, dry things. And, like, that's what her hair feels like to me. It feels like, like, dry like dry, dry, like fur or like dry, like, like I said, like yak hair or stuff like that, that you would use for like making clothes in like a colder environment. Not saying that that's makes it acceptable, but it's kind of the excuse I'm going with that it kind of makes it feel kind of in theme, kind of like how Claudine's hair kind of feels like in theme because like she's a, like a wolf and like they're kind of have some kind of like rough fur sometimes. So like, I don't know, that's just kind of how I'm explaining it to myself to like tactily make it acceptable um but otherwise like again I'm a huge sucker for anything that is winter themed um I just like look how tall the school is they're so tall and so thick they literally have all the things that like I love Draculaura because they have a thicker body type and I love Frankie because they're taller and like this combines those two into one Plus, on top of that, it's a winter theme. And like I said, I'm a sucker for anything winter. Um, I love her little horns, um, her face. Like, she can, like, I had no idea until today that this hip sack has a slot in it so it can hold things. So, like, she can hold almost all of her accessories. She even looks good in her glasses and not everybody looks good in their, in their sunglasses. Like, because she gets so much sass if I just push it down her nose. Like, look at that! Oh my god. And then, of course, Shiver and then... Er, Tundra? Shiver? Tundra? Tundra. Shiver is the old name. I, I was like, I know it's one of those two. Um, and then her stole, she can wear that too. Um, which I know is not, like, not everyone likes that it's, like, stiff. Um, and I get that, but also I feel like it stays on better because it's stiff. Um, I don't usually have her displayed with it, but she, like, can display with it if you want. And then, like, her little cup with her horns, like she has in the movie. Um, and then, you know, the ice backpack, just everything. The shoes with the icicles on the bottom, just, ugh, stunning. 10 out of 10. This doll literally goes everywhere with me right now. Um, I've had her, like, dressed in illy clothes for a while. Um, I literally just put her back in this outfit just for making this video. Um, this is definitely, like, a doll that did not disappoint. Um, I wanted her from the moment, like, that I saw that she even existed. Um, like, I, I don't know if it was a leaked image or if it was the show first, but one or the other, they came around the same time, and I lost it. Um, I was like, I literally went to my husband the second, like, that I saw her, and I said, I, I think I saw her in the show, and I said, I need her right now as a doll, and then I saw the leaked image, and as I literally screamed, and I was like, I need, like, a million of them. I'm like, I need one to keep in the original outfit. I need one to keep in box. I need one to redress. I need one to throw against the wall. Like I just am obsessed with this doll, um, to the umpteenth degree. And, uh, yeah, I'm so happy that she's just everything, um, that like I thought she was going to be from her, like I said, like her images and like from the show, like she's just, absolutely stunning and I hope that we get more um versions of Abby in the future like she really deserves it and I just found out she can she's literally the exact size of it but she can technically fit inside the lockers so in theory in the future we could get her in one of the um secrets lines so that would be really cool all right well there they are um these are the top five for my generation three um dolls let me know down in the comments below if you want to rank all 42 like by absolutely means go for it um but i would like to see your top five or your top 16 down in the comments down below kind of compare and contrast see what you guys think as well um i cannot wait to see what next year has in store for us for generation three i know i will be continuing to collect them and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will all see you very soon bye